Liam Neeson and Ewan McGregor, they got on to for making lightsaber sounds on the set of Star Wars. I don't blame him. I'm like, pew, 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 and two. Kevin Costner, now his ex-wife is having to pay his legal fees, and I'll tell you why. And Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are divorcing, but the Elvis that married them is shocked because celebrity marriages always last. That's coming up with What's Trending. What's Trending with Julie brought to you by Dakota Coffee with two locations in Dothan, one in Enterprise. Scan the QR code to join their coffee club for a 10% discount. They've been here for 30 years because they are good. DakotaCoffee.club. Um, if you're going to do a Star Wars movie, you know you're going to make lightsaber sounds. Pew, 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 pew. Well, it looks like Liam Neeson and Ewan McGregor could not help themselves. They did the same thing on the set of the 1999 movie Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. Well, Liam just told Conan O'Brien they automatically started making the lightsaber noises. That's what you do when they pulled out the weapons during filming. But George Lucas said, uh, cut, boys, can we like add that later? He's no fun. Kevin Costner's soon-to-be ex-wife, Christine Baumgartner, is on a losing streak, not looking good for her. She's just been ordered to pay a lot of money for legal fees because of some shenanigans. Last month, Kevin's lawyer asked her if she understood the prenup that she signed. It's a significant question because the lawyer is thinking that she's going to challenge the prenup and understanding it before signing is kind of a relevant question. It's kind of important. But her and her lawyers said that they didn't understand what understand meant. Yeah, how typical like, legal lawyer jargon is that? But there was a lot of back and forth, and the judge ended up just ordering Christine to pay Kevin's $14,000 legal fee bill. Ooh. This comes days after Kevin won a huge victory over child support. She wanted 248 grand from him? Nah, he's only having to pay 63 grand. That seems a lot more feasible. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are divorcing, and it started when Joe was less than supportive of Sophie last year, when she just had a baby and she was struggling. Well, she wanted to stay home, of course, with her daughters and be a mom. She didn't want to be photographed. I wouldn't want to either after you just had a kid. But he pressured her to go to all these events and everything, even though she made it clear that she was not comfortable. Well, the last straw was when Joe heard or saw something from Sophie on the ring camera. It has not been revealed yet, but this is going to be dirty. But the Elvis that married them in Vegas is shocked when he heard that they were divorcing. I mean, he thought it would last. Anything bad about it? Uh, I didn't know nothing negative news about them at all. I thought they were getting along fine. And I was planning to go see Joe at the concert here in Las Vegas and uh, give him a, a little gift uh, from his wedding. He don't even know I got it seemed like they were in love, and they had dated a lot, I think, longer than they were married. So I figured these guys got to know each other pretty well. Uh, so, you know, they look like they were, you know, he's got to be feeling like a big dummy because the other two brothers are still married, and he's not. So, you know, they gave him hell, I'm sure, still giving him hell. But uh, it may be, I don't know how hard he hung in there like he should have hung in there. You know, you know, he got to be, go through all that stuff. But it was a pretty short marriage, if you ask me. I don't know if he gave it his all, but, hey, it ain't my business. I don't know. I'm just saying from the outside looking in. Because all celebrity Hollywood couples last, right? What's Trending with Julie brought to you by Dakota Coffee with two locations in Dothan, one in Enterprise. Scan the QR code to join their coffee club for a 10% discount. They've been here for 30 years because they are good. DakotaCoffee.club.